Hello everyone! Thank you so much for coming on my channel, Your Canadian Blind Girl. Stay tuned to see what I have for you today. Ow. And go. All right, so, um, so Ashley is going to paint my nails using her nail guides, and I have just found the right... Oh, do you want to turn this on? Oh, did that shut off too? Shut off. <laughs> All my technology hates me! Oh, no. Okay, that should be on. Okay, and since we're doing this, why don't I set my timer now? Since <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I but shouldn't no, have a YouTube We'll keep track. Okay. It's okay. We're okay, so I'm ready. starting with my base. So I'm going to say the nail steps um, down below. And then that way if we're talking. So I start with the peel-off base coat. And then I do the matte top coat. And then I do the Sally, Sally Hansen nail color, followed by the Sally Hansen top coat. And then when it's all dry, then I put on a cuticle oil or I use the menthol. Oh, wait. And before I do all that, I coat the cuticles. I'm not doing this in order. Okay, the very first thing I do is I put the Elmer's glue on the cuticles. It's non toxic, so we're all good. Emily, don't eat it. It's good to know I will not eat it. <laughs> Never was one of those kids that ate glue. I heard that there were those of you who did that. I don't think I ever ate it, but I think I've always, like, I've always had this obsession, like, with anything that's, like, gooey and liquidy. I always wanted to be like, what does it taste like? Like, I've always wondered what things tasted like, and I feel like I'm such a weird person. Ah! Do you want me to hold my hand, like, here, closer to the camera? Oh, you can't. Sorry. See? <laughs> Do you want me to hold we it here? Talking about, we were talking about how Ashley and I have been friends for... Where is here? How long? Too long. A long time. <laughs> it's amazing she's not weirder. Probably... <laughs> because of me. I rub off on I want to say, like, oh, like, more than 10 years, for sure. It was before... 2005 was, we met. Was it before I was diagnosed with lupus? It was 14 years ago, and it was just before you were diagnosed with lupus. Just before, okay. You were running so, all kinds of tests. So we've been friends okay. for 14 years. So she was sighted for most of that and, and now has lost her vision. Mm -hmm. So um, we were saying that for me, just just getting used to not saying things like, oh, should I put my hand here? Or <laughs> like, look here? over there, don't you like that color? Just because I'm, I, that is an automatic thing. But you know, you do get better. I think I'm better now even than I was at first. I actually, I don't think I noticed it that much. I think when okay. I was first blind, I think it used to bother me a little bit just for the fact that I would miss seeing that kind of stuff, but I would always yeah. find it funny too because I'd be like, I'm blind. She I always laughed. She never got mad at me or what have you, but you well, know. Our, our neighbor one time, this is really funny, I, there was a nail sticking up in our floor and it caught my sock and so I was mad because I was like, oh, I'm like, I hurt my foot and I ripped my sock. And my friend was like, what are you, blind? <laughs> and I go, yes. Oh, she felt so no. bad. She actually started crying. It was it was actually really funny. Like she was more upset than I was, but it was so funny. Like she said it joking. Like that was a joke. But that's the kind of thing that we say to each other, <laughs> right? When we can see. So it was really like funny it's a joke, me. but it's not a joke. It's oh. kind of funny. My my camera can't see. This one notifies me when it shuts off. Yeah. This one doesn't. This one is just like. I think we've we've done about three four minutes. So. Okay. So we got, we got three minutes. Okay. Yeah. Talking. She's putting so. glue on my nails now. I'm putting, I'm I'm putting glue on her. Let's see how we do this because I'm used to doing it. Oops. I, okay. I loosened it. We're good. I am used to doing my own nails and not somebody else's. So I'm used to being able to feel all of it. So we'll see how I do. I'm not sure okay. how I'm gonna do. And I'm not gonna say a thing if she looks like she's if anything's. If I'm failing, I'm not going to tell you. I will not say a thing. We'll just see that's how it turns fair. out. That's not fair. I think that's perfectly fair. That's what you told me you wanted to do. She, she, wants, she wants a head start. She's like, I hope you mess up because then I can paint your nails good. <laughs> see, originally mm -hmm. I wanted to, her to paint one of mine and I was going to paint one of hers. And then I forgot that I actually have nail polish. Ah, trick of being blind. Yes. You forget when you're wearing nail polish. Yes. I'm always, I think you might actually be wearing the same color that you're putting on me. Makes sense because I just grabbed the first nail bottle that was lying around. So. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so this part's always messy and goopy. And when you want a really good nail uh, nail manicure, another trick to remember is you actually do want a tiny bit of space between your skin and where you're putting the nail color. Because if you flood your cuticle and put the nail polish right up against the skin, it'll peel off within a couple of days. Oh, yeah. see that's something that I do routinely is flood, flood the cuticle. Not a term that I was aware of, but I, I like that term. Actually, I, I realized just now, I was like, I sound really good. <laughs> <laughs> and I was scared if I said, ooh, I sound smart, I was gonna ruin it. I just ruined it anyways, but. <laughs> Okay, so that has to dry. All right. I don't know how long this is. So we'll wait dry. for the glue to dry. Yeah. Now, see, now would this be a good time for one of those questions? Oh, yeah. So I should stop this video and we're going to film awkward blind questions with my friend and then we're going to come back and finish this video. Yeah. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my friend Emily. Hello. And so Emily does not have a YouTube channel. I'm trying to convince her to have a channel called Emily's Bubbles. 
because she has a bubbly personality and so she has a lot of these moments where she has like these really deep contemplations and philosophical <laughs> ideas. I do? <laughs> <laughs> she does. Sometimes I don't feel like I'm smart enough to have the conversation because I'm like, mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> so I was like, she should have it called Emily's Bubble and then at the end she goes, and that's it for Emily's Bubble and then be like, <laughs> my bubble for the day. Yeah, <laughs> there maybe. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> We'll okay. see if I come up with anything super creative today, and then and then my channel could be a spin-off from yours, like oh, a TV right. show from the seventies. Will you collab with me? Maybe. Will this is collab, isn't it? Okay, we'll talk about yeah, that. Yeah, but later. you don't have a YouTube channel. Right? I know, I know. <laughs> will, you, will you remember me when you become really famous and you're making lots of money? Okay. <laughs> yes, I will. Okay. All right. So she's gonna ask me awkward blind questions yes. that we found on the internet, or we are some of them I've even been asked. And so some of the ones that she's asking are ones that I am asked that I really that really annoy me. Of course, they're not annoying me when she's asking me that. Well, and uh, unfortunately, I feel like well, one of these at least is something that I did ask, so I'll be sure to ask that one. Um, and some now of these, I'm curious because sometimes I forget what questions you ask me. Well, I'll I'll tell you. I'll tell okay. you which one. But some of these she has covered in other videos. I know. Um, for example, do you ever wish you were not blind? Is a question that people get asked, and I know mm -hmm. you've discussed that in a, in a previous video. Um, the one that I have asked is, um, is it offensive to say see you later or make another reference to, <laughs> you know, to having sight in, in a colloquial way like that? So I always find that really fun just because that is an expression everyone uses. See you later. And I've had people who they go, see you later. And they're like, oh, and so if they're <laughs> going to be awkward about it after they say, I go, yeah, see you later just to calm them. And they go, oh wait, I won't cause I'm blind. And I love throwing that out at people because they're just shocked that I would come out and say that and so like some people are just like they, they tiptoe around the word blind or visually impaired because you know I love it when I'm somewhere and they're like so are you like are you and I always want to be like deaf, deaf? <laughs> short redheaded <laughs> red strawberry blonde oh yeah sorry yeah strawberry blonde I'm not as crazy as a redhead <laughs> <laughs> oh I forgot I winked at the camera my mom told me not to wink that is, I think it's completely fine. There's anyway, I'm sorry, Hannah. I'm not telling you. Mrs. Stewart, don't kill me for saying that. Okay. Uh, oh, yes, another question. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, here's one. Uh, isn't there a treatment or an operation that can help fix your eyes? Okay, so I get asked this quite a bit, actually, whenever I meet new people. And it always annoys me because I'd be like, I always wanted to answer and be like, yes, there's a cure that I can see perfectly fine. I just choose not to do it. Hmm. Like, <laughs> if there was a cure or if there was an operation or if there was a medication that would fix it, you, you bet I would probably do everything I could to have that surgery or that cure. And I was trying, um, cause I don't know if you remember for the last, um, Oh, since January, so January, February, March, April, May. So for the last five months, I've actually been trying an experimental medication um, to try and make my eyes healthy and to uh, make sure that the nerves were healthy um, to see if I would get any sight back. And so I tried it for five months and I still didn't have any sight and I've, like, I've had more um, pain in my eyes and so I just decided to stop it. But if there was, so that wasn't even like a, a known cure, it was just a chance. And, you know, I tried it and some things about people who they have a condition like mine where you don't know if there's a possible cure. I think for the first little bit you try everything and then you just get so tired and discouraged of trying stuff that you just give up on it. I remember that, that stage a couple of, cause I think like you had started to lose your sight. A, I don't want to say like about a year before it was you were aware years of it. Ago. Yes, yeah, actually, but before it was. she was telling anybody outside of her family, it was about a year. And mm -hmm. then I remember the I've been going to appointments and I'm still going to appointments and we're trying to figure out what's wrong. And and oh, that was I, that was you were so frustrated. And and of mm -hmm. course because the whole time you were hoping that maybe you were going to find an answer, but you weren't sure. And and you know. Um, yeah, ooh, I can feel that that uh, frustration <laughs> again. That was a really hard time. Yeah, it was. And I can see how people get really discouraged and really depressed, especially if their life they saw before that and then they don't see. It's mm -hmm. it's very it's a very different experience. So Okay. <laughs> um there was another one here. Oh, okay, this one. This is a this is a doozy, okay? What's the best thing about being blind? The best thing about being blind. I hate this question when people ask me it because it's like they're, they're looking for like this thing that I'm supposed to motivate them. Hmm. And that's really what it is. It's a self-directed question. Like they feel bad 
for me being blind and so they need to be cheered up and so they're like well what's what's the best thing or what's the most positive thing if you've had sight and lost it there is no positive <laughs> there yeah. just there just isn't like if you maybe don't know any different you probably can say oh well i've met tons of interesting people which i have i have met tons of different like different people and stuff like that and like i've met people all over the world like um ming from hong kong hi <laughs> calling hi. people out <laughs> ming from hong kong or um our way from indonesia like i've met all kinds of different people because I am blind and I'm in different blind support groups hmm. but like there just isn't like one big huge thing like you learn lots of things like I have learned I tried very hard before not to judge people based on looks like before I had trouble with my vision um, and being blind you can't really make those flash judgments about people because you don't see them hmm. so I have learned important things being blind but I would have to say like really if you've had something lost it there really is no major positive like there's nothing that's like yeah the best thing about being blind like maybe the <laughs> best thing about being blind is if you had a guide dog then you get to take your dog with you everywhere maybe so there are things that are that have happened as a result that are positive I yeah guess. yeah but it's not the question the way that question is phrased is very yeah. much like hasn't this really been a good thing for you and, <laughs> yeah you know, right <laughs> maybe it's okay to say no <laughs> yeah exactly I yeah. think so like I've, I've always tried to be in Tried to bend. Tried to bend. Mom, don't watch my grammar video. Um, I've always tried to be um, real. So I don't try to fake positivity. Um, if I am positive and I'm doing a positive video, then I be positive. If I'm being real and it's hard, then I I be real and I be hard. And that video is just the way it's gonna be. So yeah. So the way that question is asked, no, there isn't like this thing. Now, if you said, you know, what are some positives in somebody that's blind? What you know what I mean? Then I could list some things like that. But the way that specific question is, no, there is no, woo, I'm blind now, I get to do this. Like, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of things you don't get to do. So again, um, my camera shuts off, but uh, these were a few of the questions. We weren't able to finish all of our questions that day because we had a lot of things going on, and that was the way my parents were a week away for a week uh, in the Philippines uh, meeting my fiancé, uh, which I'm going to do an upcoming video about. Uh, but thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Please make sure to subscribe and share my content. Um, I always have a great time filming videos. And if there's ever a topic that you would like me to discuss or you would like my opinion uh, to do a YouTube video, make sure you give me the topic with your name if you want it submitted as, and your YouTube channel. So if you have a YouTube channel and you want your YouTube channel named with the topic that you have sent to me make sure to enter that information and i would be more than happy to do something like that thank you so much for watching bye